Portage is so fun. This is not about North Carolina. But on the way to World Race, I always watch a bunch of videos about, hey, this is World Race, and this is what we're doing, and this is my cool friend, and like, we're best buds and all that stuff, and now I get to be in a World Race video. You do. It's so fun. <laughs> Brighter or darker? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think, I think that's good. fine. We'll just look super angelic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. Yay! Now, there, there, now, now. Intro! This is going to be a two week recap. Get ready. Get your popcorn. Buckle away. Buckle away. <laughs> This vlog starts the day that our boys left. 24th? It's Saturday, September 24th. The guys are leaving. The guys are leaving us. Because I'm about to my back. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited. Look at his first day of school fit. <laughs> Go, go like, I'm so ready. Yeah. I was born for this. So after the boys had left, and the campsite was lonely and quiet, and quiet it was noticeably quiet, like eerily quiet. Um, like if this was a movie, this would be the Halloween day. It would. That's be. how eerie. It and so we were looking for just a little bit of fun. So me, Annie, Josephine hit the town and we picked up a few other people along the way. Wait, you take It's recording. Sheet? No, it's recording. <laughs> so we said bye to the boys about. <laughs> we said bye to them at nine o'clock, which means two. it's been six ish hours, I think. But... And we just found out today that we're actually allowed to Uber off of campus freely. So we did so. So we did. Walking around, going to coffee shops, going to Rahab's Rope, which, look it up, it's so Very good, cool. so good, and the meaning behind it is amazing. That's where I actually got this ring and this ring from. Very good store. Yeah. We got a pair of earrings from it. Yeah. To share. To share. Like friends. <laughs> After that, things got a little bit crazy. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a tattoo shop, and we thought... <laughs> Why not go in there for fun, you know? That was their thought process. <laughs> and we left with tattoos, but- Cause that's what you do when you go into that <laughs> We got there kind of early-ish and they just kept saying, you guys are next up. Your group is next. But then the man in front of us sat there, got a tattoo, was like, I like it. <laughs> Give me this one too. Really? He did that for like eight, seven ish yeah. times and we're just sitting there like man we've been waiting for so long we missed dinner yeah they did we kept asking like hey where's the rest of the people or like some people would come back and everything <laughs> so everyone's else back and then it was like hours after dinner <laughs> before they actually <laughs> came back my apologies <laughs> it wasn't our fault and we were in contact with our leaders the yeah. entire time a okay it was very traumatic. It was traumatically long for a 10 second tattoo. <laughs> so, Sela is, um, I think it's a Hebrew word, and its meaning is um, peace and rest, and also like reflection on what the Lord has done. So, it's just like a personal reminder and then a good conversation start with them. So. Yes! <laughs> so, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, while I'm, while I'm here, <laughs> Ray Payne, 
Three out of ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rating solid. Solid nine. Nine? I can't give my first one a ten. <laughs> Maybe I can. I like it a lot. How do you feel? This is my first tattoo without my mommy. <laughs> oh. It's still meaningful. I'm getting a cursive Z for my grandmother. My cousin actually has one, so I'm kind of matching her. It's just going to be a little lower down. Because <laughs> I'm a pain wimp. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited. Yay. Positive review. Feeling the closer we get, the more nervous I get. <laughs> this one definitely stains a lot more than my elbow one. Let's see it. It looks so good. It looks so good. You happy with it? I'm happy. Yay. I love it. Jill stuck her hair down. Yeah. Um, that night, they actually lug a baby cricket. What? Player. Oh, that's fun. Look at me chasing bugs now. What kind of city girl? <laughs> that's what a month in the woods does. <laughs> so I'm gonna screenshot that for <laughs> ominous effect. <laughs> that night, when we did eventually find our way back, mm -hmm. they let us sleep inside. So nice. Because what was happening the next morning? We left for North Carolina! <gasps> what are we doing today? We're going to North Carolina. So, Alyssa, how are you feeling? I'm nervous. Yeah? Yes. What are you expecting to happen? I'm expecting for a lot of walls to be torn down. I'm expecting a lot of humility. And I'm expecting a lot of new bonds in unforeseen places. Is there Amen. anything you're excited for or worried for? I'm a creature of habit. So we've been here for a month. I don't like adapting to change. Not the easiest thing for me, but I am excited for it. Hey! We're out! <laughs> That's your thinking face? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cheers, my thinking face. We left. For some reason, I did happen to get really car sick. Mm. So, Bummer. took a couple videos and then I was out sleeping. Then they let us stop in Gainesville. Green Greenville. Greenville, Greenville, for three hours <laughs> to get clothes and food and clothes. Made a three hour trip, a, no, a four hour trip, a seven hour trip. <laughs> Booyah. Yes, four hour car ride instantly became a seven hour car ride. We love that, um, but it was fun. It was We're so not fun. complaining. No. It was, it was very good. I got cold clothes. I needed cold This was actually from Greenville. It was very nice. Now we're all warm. Now we're all warm.
today is September 25. Here's the fit check. Yeah, yeah. Um, shout out Goodwill. The end. expectation because I don't entirely know what we're doing. I'm just excited to see these people, see the organization that they have built and to just help them in any way that we can. I am looking forward to meeting people. I am also just looking forward to having time with our teams and with just the girls. So we did the green building and now we arrived! Yay! We love North Carolina. So much fun. I remember driving up and seeing the first mountain. Aww. And the videos and pictures do them no justice. No justice. You had to be there. So next time we go to North Carolina, you're coming too. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> set up our tents yay they made us do tent city in rows so it was all cute it was a cute tent city because it was a college campus so everyone had their houses and they look over and then there was a bunch of tents so they were confused until they met us then they were still confused <laughs> i was getting questions two days before we left about who we were <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> do you want to explain excel college yes so excel college is an accelerated college pro program um Focused on, is that what it means? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, it is. Accelerated college? <laughs> yeah, because you can get a bachelor program in two and a half years, and you can get a um, associate's degree in one year. And they didn't say that, but I feel like that's the thing that makes the most sense. And their main focus is living life together. So everyone lives on campus, and you do, they focus on their own way of schooling so like all the subjects are like very concentrated and you do all of them like one at a time rather than at the same time and they work and they do ministry and it's a very well-built community um focused on well yes living life together but then by the end of college yeah discipleship but at the end of the college their goal is to send out people who have healthy lives rather than people with degrees and debt yeah, debt no free. Debt. No debt. No it's, debt. That was a simplified version, but it's a really cool college with really, really cool, cool people college. and really cool values. And, um, yeah. What's up, K Squad <laughs> and J Squad? Um, we miss you guys. It's only been a couple days, but um, you can see it's obviously a lot more empty in here without you. Um, we miss you. We love you. We thank you for all that you did for your time here in Black Mountain. Um, you bless the socks off our community and you bless the socks off our city. Um, we're here at All Team and we just wanted to say what's up. Yeah! Yeah! So every day we did things. We okay. woke up at 6.30 in the morning for every breakfast. Day. Or you slept in and you didn't eat breakfast and then you have an hour in between like 7.30 to 8.30 before we leave for ministry. Uh-huh. Good hour. The ministries, basically we never knew what we were doing until we were there. So Excel College partners with a bunch of local ministries so that way they can be established. Their students work in all of these different places. So we were able to just go out and help the community, just show them some love. Uh, we did that by gardening some days, working in at Ridgecrest Housekeeping! Event Love Ridgecrest. <laughs> Cue the Ministry Day videos. Woo! It's September 27th. We were walking to ministry. I actually don't know where we're going, so you can tell them that. Honestly, we don't really ever know. We just go where they tell us. But at least it feels like fall. 
Yeah, at least it feels like fall. We're not dead yet. <laughs> What are we doing at our ministry today? Well, we're table plating. No plating, we're silverware placing. <laughs> we're doing catering. Coffee break. Coffee break. Coffee break. I missed it. What happened here? Um, we're making salads. <laughs> ministry world because I did want to be like present while I was there and not on my phone the entire time. Right, because then it would feel more like a social media opportunity, which it wasn't. We had an opportunity to bless the community and it was absolutely wonderful. I think my ministry highlight was the day <laughs> that we dressed up as vegetables <laughs> and fruits and we were able to hand out like boxes of food made by Bounty and Soul. Shout out them. That was so cool. Um, to families or people in need. And I like that one because we were actually able to see what we were doing. My highlight was also at Ridgecrest. There was a day that I got to spend all day with this girl named Mandy. And so for a time, so I'm a very talkative person and a competitive person. So that my mindset for that day was to know more about the person I was hanging out with and the people than my other teammates did. So like at the end of the day, people would, <laughs> So at the end of the day, people ask me, so what do you know about Mandy? I'm like, whoa, I know a lot. And so it was just, it was so wonderful to be able to hang out with her all day. And then after like hearing so much about her and stuff, I was able to like, we were able to make a Walmart trip. So then I got her a present and I was able to just give it to the front desk and not even give it to her, but then like know that she was definitely blessed through it. And it just, I love the chance to talk to people and I got to spend the whole day with her. So then every time like I, didn't work with her again, but then I saw her a couple of times, so every time I got to see her, I got a hug, so it was wonderful. Aww. It was a lot of fun. I don't even know Mandy, but I know so much about her, <laughs> and I've never I love her. Mandy. Did she break up with her boyfriend? Was that her? No, she, mm -mm. she moved to North Carolina because of her boyfriend. Oh. So she's happy. Yes. Just go busy. Mandy. But. So go Mandy. Go Mandy. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Which... Every day after ministry, we do team time! Yay! We love team time. <laughs> team time, I think, was the most refreshing part of some days. It was so nice. Because we love our team. you'd be doing the same thing for eight hours. Um, from 8.30 to 4, so yeah. 8 to 4 Roughly. to 8 hours. Yeah, 8 hours. The same exact thing. Sometimes you would get moved to a different location halfway through. And by the end of the day, you're drained. And there was some, most teams got to be together, but our team got split up a lot, so we didn't get to see our people. I mean, we saw our squad people, but not our team people. Yeah. So going to team time was just such a refresh because oh, you're back around the people that you love. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love everybody, but like you're back <laughs> around like your comfort spot, yeah. your family, your tight circle. Your circle 
or I wanted you guys to see that team time is not just important to me and Jules, but it's important to everybody. Yeah. So, I interviewed them. And here's a little team time segment, just because I love you guys so much, and I'm so grateful to be on a team with you guys, and I love you. Team time has given an opportunity to um, express emotions to where you normally, normally wouldn't because you didn't feel comfortable, so it's a comfortable space to go. The best part about team time is being vulnerable and knowing that I can trust every single person in the circle. Um, maybe check-ins so we all know how like we're all doing and we can like make sure we're on the same page with everyone and like looking out for each other so we can help each other out. <laughs> Little team. <laughs> I like the team time when we played hot seat and went to the store because it was like fun and crazy and like we were going to the store and then we went to the grocery store and we were all like run 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 to your snacks. Um, but playing hot seat, we were all like learning a lot of things about each other and like asking each other deep questions in a very casual way, which was fun. Oh. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Vaughn. <laughs> what are your all thoughts on team time? Um, I love team time. Things can get hectic and noisy, but I feel like team time is just kind of like the gravity like we always come back to um and i love it i love my girls i love it because it's a specific time where the team can come together and we can do whatever we want we can share testimonies which are great we can play games or watch movies or do bible study we just have to hang out and it's great where do you think that you'd be without team time in my own head i need time to process things so team time is really good Okay. Aside from ministry, aside from team time, aside from travel days, I think one of my biggest takeaways from North Carolina would have to be the community. Okay. I had some of the most genuine laughs with these people. I learned guitar in a night. It was very impressive. She has calluses. I do. I have Don't guitar fingers already. <laughs> and. I think the community that was built over me and Becca's homeless friend, Peter, last name unknown, was insane. Mentioned Once upon a time, yeah. one of my world race squad mates, who I have never really had a genuine conversation with, we randomly felt the need to go to Waffle House with each other, so we found a ride. They took us, Excel students, <laughs> um, and we met this man, his name was Peter. He's a homeless man, and and somebody just recently burnt down his campsite. So we really strived for donations, for people to pour, like to just give things, whether it be sleeping bags, blankets, sweaters, clothes, money donations, so we could buy him clothes. We bought, we wanted to get him a book bag and a Bible, and we were able to get all of these things in place. And the community that was built around it was so amazing. So thank you so much, all the students at Excel, for helping with that. Because the friendships that were built there were insane. The community that was built there is solid because of Peter. The reliability and the trust that I share with some of the Excel students now is insane. And it's just, it was an, a very heartwarming experience, for sure. Yeah. We love our Excel students. We love our Excel students. And what's really cool about Excel is every Tuesday and Thursday they have this thing called All Team. All Team! Where you get to hang out with everyone at the, um, everyone in the college comes together for a dinner and a teaching and worship and you're just going to hang out with everyone and it's like mandatory so you um, automatically get to see everyone and it was just a really cool time to um, meet everyone that we didn't know before and learn 10 million names and expect them to know your name.
it was just really fun to know people and not just to feel like we're intruding on their space, but to feel like they want us, they want to know us, and they want, we're not just homeless people on their lawn. So it was fun. Yeah. We love you, Excel. Thank you for housing us. Thank you for giving us food mm -hmm. and caffeine. And hugs. And hugs. And love. And, and lots of names to friendship. try to remember. Yeah, that was fun. Um, okay. 10 second tattoo. Then yes. you did something else. No, I didn't. No. That's the end. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> it is not the end. <laughs> um, oh, that helps. Look, now there's more sky. More sky. <laughs> the morning of On this hand, not this one. What else, Charlie? This is the 